Greetings and thank you once again for the opportunity to come to you again today and spend a few moments in the Word and in prayer. We are continuing to learn about Jesus' teaching on faith and we're just highlighting various elements of His teaching concerning the subject of faith. What we do see in what Jesus communicated concerning faith is that Jesus expressed that there are different levels of faith. How do we know that? There are times when Jesus spoke to people and said, how is it that you have no faith? So he recognized the absence of faith, no faith. Then, so one example is in Mark chapter 4 and verse 40. And the disciples were in the boat and there was a storm in the sea and they're all panicking and they, you know, they went to Jesus, wake up, we're, we're about to drown. And, and Jesus responded, he said, how is it that you have no faith you know, to his disciples? There were times when Jesus spoke to people, he said, oh, you of little faith. Now, an example, um, there are several instances where uh, you know, in, in Matthew chapter 6, in, in context of anxiety and worry, he said, you know, when we worry, we are actually being of little faith. We're expressing very little faith. And we let worry and anxiety override in our hearts and minds. And there were other occasions as well. We don't have time to cover all of them. So there were times he said, little faith. Now, little, not in the same sense of that mustard seed. That mustard seed is a very positive example of faith that is very powerful. It can move mountains. But in this case, it was little in the sense that insufficient faith. It was actually uh, demonstrating a lack of faith. So he rebuked people and they showed little faith. And then there were times when he spoke to people, he said, you've got great faith. The Roman centurion, the Canaanite woman, are two people to whom he said, you've got great faith. So he spoke about no faith, little faith, and great faith. This tells us several things, or we can derive several uh, inferences or conclusions from these statements. First of all, uh, there are different levels of faith that we can have at different times. But also means that we can increase in our faith. We can grow in our faith. We may start out, start out with no faith, move into a place of little faith, but we can definitely come into a place of great faith. If the Roman centurion and the Canaanite woman could be a people of great faith, surely you and I can also come into that place of great faith in God. And that's where we always want to abide. We want to be people of great faith in God. And hopefully as we continue in these days to come, we will learn how to do that. Let your faith grow. Let your faith in God increase. Let's pray. Father, we ask that we will move from our level of faith to greater faith, from faith to faith, to increased levels of faith in you where we come, Lord, to a place of great faith, that when Jesus looks at our hearts, he will tell us, you are of great faith. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.